One of Europe's biggest staffing companies joins the earnings parade. Lots of companies today. Randstad missed estimates with a profit of 70 million euros in the third quarter. The company, though, is hopeful about the future jobs market. It says it's seeing an improvement in professional sectors across Europe and expects to pay a dividend this year as well. And I'm joined by Ben Notboom, Chief Executive Officer of Randstad Holdings. Uh, Mr. Notboom, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. I mean, you're a perfect bellwether of, of the European employment market. You operate in Holland, in Germany, the Iberian Peninsula, Belgium, Luxembourg. Tell us, break it down for us, sir, if you, if you could. I mean, what are the best performing areas of, of Europe right now for you? Yeah, actually, without being, being arrogant, I hope we are number two in the world. So we actually have a, have exactly. a global view, in, including North America, Australia, Asia, India. And, and we'll come to those, yeah. So talk to us about Europe. What we've seen, yeah, what we've seen is that, that the recovery always starts, and by the way, downturn also always starts in the U.S., and then tra travels to Europe, and that, that ex is exactly what has happened. So we, we've seen a, uh, a very healthy growth uh, across uh, all our countries. The Netherlands is, uh, is the still the slowest, but all the others uh, show uh, most of them actually uh, double-digit growth, whereas the, the, actual, the actual star is Germany, where we have growth of 40%. Uh, so that's all developing... Um, as we've seen in the past, by the way, uh, when there is a recovery, the same sequence, but um, uh, developing very positively. We just spoke to a Nobel Prize winning economist, you probably heard there, yes. about the US yeah. unemployment situation, and it, it, it's stubbornly high, as we know. What are you hearing from companies about their future you know, hiring prospects, and how is that affecting you? Yeah, what we've always seen is, of course, discussions about jobless recoveries, who don't, which don't exist, obviously. But it's just a period of time, according to my analysis, where companies fill up the capacity that they, uh, that they have left because they usually keep too many people on the payroll, payroll compared to the actual demand in a downturn. Then they fill up the capacity and then actually they start rehiring again. What we see is that uh, people are still uh, a little bit shocked by the, uh, the severe recession we obviously had. Uh, are more careful and that's of course uh, why they call uh, companies like ours to, uh, to first get a flexible uh, uh, input of people. And then uh, that will translate into uh, more permanent jobs, which is, by the way, exactly what we see happening in, in all segments. Permanent placements, which is, of course, one of the activities we have, is, uh, is growing 24% again co compared to last year. And that's, uh, that's quite an increase comp compared to uh, former quarters. I want to ask you about the euro, if I may, Ben, because uh, EU leaders meet today and Angela Merkel is desperately trying to sort of rewrite the treaties to protect the euro's stability and the strength of the eurozone itself the euro project i mean you know as a chief executive of the world's second biggest staffing company who does a lot of business outside the europe the eurozone are you concerned about the message you're hearing from european leaders and are you worried about the future of the euro and the euro project itself yeah, it, it all depends on your scope, of course, and I'm, and I'm not a Nobel Prize winner on economics. <laughs> I, I try to run a company, <laughs> so that's something that happens. And my company moves with, uh, with the activities. If the activity is higher in Asia, then we'll, we'll do more business in Asia. What we've seen so far, though, is that the Germany, uh, as the, the, of course, the expert the champion, actually now the second, I think, after China, but still is performing very well in spite of, uh, of, of the euro uh, uh, discussions and of course we do see a big uh, a big uh, difference between the southern part of Europe where indeed uh, Italy is improving now but Spain for sure is, is only improving slightly okay. compared to what it were two years ago so that that still is a, is, a, is a challenge. Ben thanks for joining us today Ben Notboon there the chief executive officer of Randstad Holding the world's second largest staffing company.